Well, our top story tonight requiring COVID-19 vaccines for college students. Well, state leaders right now, they're coming up with a plan to mandate shots. Now, one area school is looking to require vaccines by fall semester. Now, others have not made any final decisions just yet. And of course, many of you at home have really strong opinions about this. So that is why we are digging deeper with team coverage tonight. Reporter Astrid Mendez spoke with a parent who's concerned about a possible mandate at universities. But another concern, how could something like this impact all of us? Let's go to anchor Ross DiMatteo. Ross, can businesses require vaccines for workers and their customers? Well, Trisha, the simple answer is yes, they can, but there are a couple of key exceptions, and we'll go over that in just a second. But today, I did have the pleasure of speaking with David Orentlicker. He's the director of UNLV's health law program. He said outside of a union agreement, employers have a lot of freedom when it comes to imposing requirements on their workers, and that could include requiring vaccination against COVID-19. But he says there are two big exceptions to that rule. Take a listen. People who have disabilities that would compromise their the safety of being vaccinated if you have a medical condition that has weakened your immune system and, and so it wouldn't, wouldn't be safe to vaccinate you. Um, they would have to accommodate that. If you have a religious objection, they would have a duty to accommodate that. But it's not an absolute duty to accommodate because in the end they have to, uh, they're allowed and indeed required to maintain a safe workplace. So there is a bit of a gray area in there, and David also said the same rules apply to customers. So if, say, a business wants to require customers to present proof of vaccination before being allowed to enter, that is well within their rights. Now, that being said, many companies may just want to avoid the hassle and the potential litigation that can come with requiring employees and customers to get vaccinated. Now, I did reach out to a handful of restaurants and only heard back from one, but the manager there, I asked him, uh, you know, are you guys considering requiring proof of vaccination before people are allowed to eat dinner? He said that is not even on their radar right now. They're really more focused on just maintaining the health and safety protocols so they can continue to stay open. Right now, I want to send it over to my colleague, Astrid Mendez.